Well, hello again, welcome to The Break, where this week we could have a full in-depth discussion about all the relevant news in MMA and never even discuss a single sanctioned fight. Because it was, it was that kind of week. So there you are, it's five in the morning. You're leaving Miami Beach's hottest nightclub. So is former UFC champ, Conor McGregor. You think to yourself, hey, I know, I'll get a quick picture of the guy with my cell phone. Think. You know, my buddies out in the office, they'll love to see that. Next thing you know, you're watching helplessly as all your candy crush progress gets stomped into the pavement. Also, not to minimize what happened here, but am I the only one who came out of that whole Conor McGregor phone smashing incident feeling kind of surprised at how serious the charges can be just for breaking somebody's fancy pocket computer? A strong arm robbery, a $12,000 bond to get out of jail? I mean, it's almost as if we've constructed a legal system that takes it more seriously when you break people's things than when you break people. But also, I mean, don't break people's things. Didn't you go to preschool? We couldn't give a bollocks. But my favorite part of the great Conor McGregor phone assault story, and then I promise I'll let it go, is I kept reading news reports about it and seeing the phrase that he was in Miami on vacation. Vacation from what? The guy hardly even fights anymore. Was, was the rat race getting to him? Was the, the grind of having his manager always busting his hump about the quarterly reports? Or was he just like on vacation from being a law-abiding citizen? Another job, which he seems to perform only sporadically these days. Then you got Jorge Masvidal. He had himself a week, didn't he? He shows up in London looking like the sexy dance instructor with a dark past. Then he knocks Darren Till out cold, just completely silences the O2 Arena. He collects two performance bonuses. Then he goes backstage, hits Leon Edwards with a free piece and a soda. It's like, it's like kind of like watching someone become the pro wrestling character version of themselves, but doing it by just sort of being themselves. Also, did you see Dominic Reyes just kind of barely skate by Vulcan Ozdemir at UFC London and then call out UFC light heavyweight champ John Jones telling him, But I'm coming for you, John. I'm coming for you. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I feel like a good rule of thumb is if you didn't know whether or not you were gonna get to use the call out until the very last scorecard was read, maybe that's a sign that you wanna take the call out. Just, just stick it in the back pocket, just for now. Breaking news here though, says longtime MMA journalist Dave Doyle to join MMA Junkie as senior editor. See this? This right here, this is why I keep saying that we need a better drug screening procedure. You know, for for new hires, I mean, not, not for existing employees. It's so funny because they're like, I don't realize why he came over here. Dumb, dumb. This is exactly. We couldn't give a bollocks. With the soda.